Hello, I'm opening DevOps Engineering and also the track card consultation. If you are interested to have private session with a technical or architectural discussion with me, just check in the description below. Hello everyone, I will show you how to deploy the tracker alongside with the MySQL in the less than 5 minutes using the docker. So the idea is to simply deploy both of them uh, all together using the docker compose. So with a single command, actually you will have the MySQL and also tracker running and functional on your system based on the configuration that you create. So the requirement for this one is actually you need to have the docker compose and also docker installed in your system and you can see here so this is the example of the uh, docker compose definition you can see that uh, we define mysql as a service and it will be the one that tracker depends so this one should be ready first and we put some configuration here in the mysql so we already define the root password we define the database the one that will be used by tracker the username and also the password it will expose the port uh, 3306 because later tracker need to connect to this one okay and you can see like there is a volume here we do some mounting for the lock so we can do some troubleshooting for the config too because we need to able to change some configuration letter and also some data and for sure the pod that we need to uh, open because we need to have to be able to send data to the tracker so using this one you can see that this is the mysql the, the name of the container then we do the configuration for the tracker it will be the mysql and then the database name here and then the username of the database the one that we setting in this one is the mysql user and the password of this one the tracker one two three this one so the mysql user mysql password and also the host all of them are configured in the tracker.xml and yeah, the expectation is we will have the port 8082 to be open and also for uh, this range of port, we should uh, be able to send the data. Uh, later, we will uh, try uh, something to send the data through the port. So now let's try to uh, setting up the tracker using the Docker Compose, using the command and let's see. So what we need to do is just do the docker compose up minus D because we want to do some detach so it will run on the background. So let's do this. And later we need to wait for a moment. You see that the, the network is created, the volume also created for the database. And then you see the container for the mask and also the tracker is like created and then uh, started. So since we are having the a uh, port 8082 so we can use a local host 8082 something like this just to test whether the tracker is already running or not so let's see for this one okay it's still fail let's check for the logs tracker logs whether we have some logs here okay we have some logs so we need to check what is the log there and we can do some tailing tracker server okay you can see that it is running and then yeah it's still good until this point starting the server and you see like there is the connection refuse okay so basically the connection is refused here so we need to do some fixing here so we can check again you can docker ps grab tracker just to ensure whether the tracker is running or not okay okay no okay this one is the my scale so it is not running so we need to do something here let's do okay this is the image name and then this is the name okay now let's go back to the notepad after we do docker compose um down okay now let's go back to the notepad and let's do some troubleshooting here so this one you can see that uh, it's try to expose to this one but the thing is uh, the tracker cannot connect to the mysql uh, for this one so let's try to check again for the log previously it was like tracker mysql one so that should be the name of the uh, container so we need to do some adjustment here tracker mysql1 and let's try again let's do the docker compose again 
docker compose up minus d as usual let's wait until it is like started and let's check again for the log if it is still not working then we can do some port publishing for the uh, main scale so later tracker can like uh, connect to the exposed port outside of that let's do this do the tailing again tail minus f okay now you can see here like uh, the connection to the database is working fine because now you can see the table is like created and then everything is good okay so the configuration for the database and then tracker is working fine what we can do now is let's try to check about the uh, what they can call that about the connection let's try that again we can curl http not https localhost 8082 and now you can see that it returns some response so now let's open the tracker uh, web to check console okay let's go to this one let's go to the browser and just enter this one now this one you can see that this is the name okay let's put some name admin admin at local.com and password admin for example so now let's do some registration and it's done let's log in now we have the tracker running fine and let's put some uh, device here okay register name uh, let's say poc tracker docker and the identifier is same let's create this one okay now it's good so now the thing is let's try to send the the data to the tracker using the awesome uh, protocol so what we need to do is actually to send the HTTP request to the tracker okay within the port that we already exposed with which is like uh, 5055 and the comment will be something like this I will show you in the console like this see so it is the port for the localhost and then this is the id of the device that i created and then this is the latitude and then the longitude and also the speed so when i enter this one we can expect that nothing here but actually the data is coming to the tracker so if you see here let's see pull tracker okay let's see there okay now you can see that it is online because there is some data coming to the tracker server so that's the good thing about uh, this one so even okay so now we already have the functional uh, tracker with the database running fine so basically this is the thing that you need to do for the development if you want to do some uh, development for the tracker in your local or even in your cloud using the MySQL you can do some modification whether you want to do that with the Postgres or any database that supported by tracker also still using the same I mean some modification on the docker compost but uh, that's the idea so all of this uh, you can try on your local and with a simple docker compost definition and docker compost command if you have any question don't forget just to uh, put your uh, question in the comment and don't forget to like and also share uh, this video and see you in the next video